ready to pick up a sliding miter saw. This is a decent one for a homeowner compared to the 12 inch or uh, Dewalt brands or even the rigid. This one is really nice for a homeowner being that it's gonna do probably everything you need to do. Differences between a 12 inch and a 10 inch blade for you beginners who are not sure whether you should get a 12 inch or 10 inch. The only difference most likely is gonna be when you are cutting big pieces of wood being height distance, um, say you're cutting an eight by eight, when you come to cut down, this one can only come in at about four and a half inches on that giant block that you're cutting, but then you'll have to flip the block over and come down again and you'll be able to cut it. The slide is much nicer than just the basic one, being that if you're cutting a board in this distance here, which is about say eight inches distance wise, and you come to cut down, if it doesn't slide, then you're gonna have to flip your board over. But this one, you can come and cut down and pull it forward, and then it cuts an entire, I think we got 13 inches here, which is great. It's gonna do everything you need to do. Also, this Ryobi here has this locking mechanism. So if you got a really long board and you don't have to go put something to support it, um, say this shoe here, to hold it upright, you can come and lock down on it and it will lock it and then you can cut your board that you need to cut. That's a really nice feature right there. In the back over here, you have a lock that locks and unlocks your 45 degree cuts. Um, a long time ago, I thought that this miter saw wouldn't be useful and I've always used a bench saw. This thing is so freaking amazing, let me tell you. So if you don't never had one of these and you've only used a table saw, you need to go get one of these. You can tilt this, well. but yeah, you can come down and cut your 45 degree cuts. Not only 45, but you can go 30, 15, wherever you wanna be at, that's where you're gonna hold it at. If you wanted it right here, you can go and screw that and tighten that bolt back there, and it will lock it in place for you. So that's a really nice feature. If you're getting the same exact model and you're not sure what this is right here, what that is, if you ever need to unscrew your blade, I think it's called a spindle lock, you would lift this up, and I do have the device unplugged. And when you go to push this in, sorry, I got one hand here, guys, and I'm doing this for you. And you go to push it in, you're like, what's that button? You're not sure what it is, but if you move the blade, you can see it locked in place. Now my blade is locked, and I can go and turn it over on its other side and get over here and unscrew that nut. And you're actually gonna go opposite. Being um, counterclockwise would loosen it. I'm sorry, clockwise would loosen it and counterclockwise on that bolt right there. That's behind there, let me show you guys right there. You know, so it's opposite of what you're doing on a regular screw. Um, you also have this feature here where if you want to um, cut your board, this is your fence right here, and you put your board up here and you want to say, move it over to 15 degrees, you would unscrew this, which I already pretty much have it unscrewed, and then I would pull this up, and now I can tilt and rotate the, um, the not the fence, but the where it's gonna sit at, where the blade's gonna cut. Say I wanted it at 30 degrees right there, I would let go, and it pretty much is locked in place. If you wanna screw it, you can, you don't have to. If you're gonna lock it, you're pretty much forever. That's nice, so then you can come and cut your board down here, and even if you still needed to tilt it, you can also tilt on your saw. Really nice feature, it pretty much, I hate to say this, but it pretty much does everything. Now I'm gonna go and plug this thing up and show you guys real quick. It also has this laser feature, which is really nice. If you could see that laser line, the sun's beaming in here like crazy, and you can turn your laser on and off right here. There's a little switch if you want your laser off. No more laser, turn the laser back on. Uh, being that it's plugged in, I don't think that it would harm it. You're not wasting a battery or anything like that. So I pretty much always leave mine on. This is also nice right here if you don't want to go use this, which takes a little bit longer, maybe 30 seconds. You also have this feature here on both ends and they're not gonna pop out because there's a screw on the inside of that. So that's nice right there just to hold your wood up. It holds it in place. If the motor ever stops working correctly, you have brushes in here that are replaceable. That's really nice. I actually seen them on eBay for $5 for the both set of brushes. Um, so you can unscrew this and replace the brushes and unscrew that side. You got two brushes that work on your motor 
that help your motor spin. So if your motor is not turning, that could be a good fix for you guys. But this saw is pretty good. I've never had to replace my um, brushes on my other one that I've had on my Ryobi, and I've used it for about three years constantly. Bag feature. I'd say it picks up about maybe 75% of all the, the particles shooting out of this thing that actually collects all that. So this is your sliding feature right here where it slides back and forth. Um, you have a lock mechanism when you want to put it away, keep it away from the kids. You would push this down right here, hold it down in place, and lock that in right there. Now your blade is um, out of the way from the kids and all that. And if you want to carry it, you carry it right here. Weighs about 35 pounds, I think it came in at. So real nice, it's portable. Think about that when you're purchasing a saw. Do you really want one that weighs about 90 pounds? Is it gonna be necessary for you? And how much use are you gonna get out of that 90 pound saw that has a 12 inch blade and is much more commercial or industrial? If you're doing homeowner stuff, like this is the floor I put in here. I was able to hit all my corners, all my lines good um, for my uh, trim and all that. I'm gonna caulk these all, but you could see everything came out real nice, nice and filled, so. It does the job. When I first assemble this thing, it actually comes with a Phillips screwdriver, which I didn't notice in the beginning on the tip, and you got your Allen wrench. And that could be used for um, the Phillips screwdriver for putting these in. When you get them, they're not assembled. So you'll need to unscrew that screw, put them in, put the screw in on the bottom, and then you're all set there. Um, that, this could be used for your fence right here, where you got Allen wrench, or there's other places where it's used at. Your saw from sliding, you get sick of it sliding, you're always gonna use it here for a long time. You would lock this here, and now your saw will not slide. And some no hands, do not put your hand on this to lift it up. They don't want you doing that because you can actually cut your finger off and you only get one chance. No hand zone, don't put your hand here to hold stuff. If you have to, go get a piece of wood, hold it down, a clamp, something. Um, don't get lazy on this thing. You get one chance to chop your finger off and you're done for. So I hate to say it, but safety. Um, use this clamp if you have to, lock it in place. It's That's what it's there for. Um, a lot of people will get lazy and start using their fingers. And think about it, you're like four inches away from this nice, nice uh, saw. So you can put a padlock here to keep it away from kids. That's an option right there. So nobody can use your saw. I mentioned that this right here is actually used for your blade also, right up in there, to unscrew your blade. I if I showed you guys this, if you wanted to stay at a, say that angle right there, you would just tighten this. And once that is tightened, it no longer moves around. You're locked at that degrees. Thought I'd show you guys this thing in action. Got a line right here, got a cut. You could use this, pretend this was a heavier piece. This is what you would do right here. Lock your place in piece. Not really necessary on this little thing, but just showing you guys how it works. Okay, pretty much locked in place. You got your line drawn. Laser's pretty accurate right there. And you would go to cut. Lock it in, it's pretty much locked right there. Always keep your hands off this board. Do not place your hands there, very dangerous. Nice smooth cut, that's about it.